let's talk about some of the technical aspects of major pollutants found in the world around us. First, there's traffic-related air pollution. Referred to as TRAP, it's made up of emissions from motor vehicles. Most of us are likely to recognize this form of air pollution, which can lead to very visible smog and haze, but it's actually not one single pollutant, but rather a cocktail of compounds. TRAP generally contains carbon, nitrogen oxides, volatile organic compounds, sulfur oxides, ground-level ozone, aromatic hydrocarbons, and particulate matter. Many of these compounds will not mean much to the average person, but perhaps the best way to think of these pollutants is as regularly occurring compounds that can be dangerous in moderate to high concentrations. A few volatile organic compounds, or VOCs, and some ozone may not kill you, but they can cause damage to your cells, which builds up over time, to the point where the damage can be difficult for the body to repair. Ozone is another big pollutant and is toxic even in small amounts. This gas occurs naturally in the upper atmosphere, where it offers the Earth protection from the sun's ultraviolet radiation. Ozone is created when sunlight splits apart O2 into single atoms, which can then join with O2 molecules to make ozone, O3. Lower down in the troposphere, ozone can be created by automobile exhaust and industrial emissions, which release nitrogen oxide gases and volatile organic compounds as byproducts of burning gasoline and coal. Nitrogen oxide gases and VOCs then combine with oxygen to form ozone during sunny, hot periods. Noxious gases are a group of pollutants made up of carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, sulfur oxides, and nitrous oxides. These gases are generally a byproduct of combustion, and these oxide-rich compounds cause harmful reactions in our cells, which over time can cause a variety of conditions. The next thing we need to discuss is particulate matter, or PM. It's generally made up of particles that are less than 10 micrometers in size. These particles can include chemical compounds such as nitrates or sulfates, and can even be made up of dust from machinery or even naturally occurring dust storms. Cigarette smoke and other forms of incomplete combustion create an excess of particulate matter. These particles can go deep into the lungs and enter the bloodstream, causing damage to several different organs. The last main pollutant that we should talk about is volatile organic compounds, or VOCs like we've mentioned. These are carbon-containing compounds that have a high vapor pressure at ordinary room temperatures or external temperatures. VOCs are common in all sorts of household chemicals and products and are given off by paints, cleaning supplies, pesticides, fire retardants, glues, and more. When we say that a new car has a new car smell, that's basically volatile organic compounds that you're smelling, and these can actually be quite harmful to your health. 